Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the left and right functions inside of MySQL. And what these functions do allow you to say left or right, and then a numeric value to say how many. So it's going to take the left or right values of a string for the number of characters that you specify. So probably easier to show you than try to explain it verbally. So if I do... And I'm just going to say ASDF, nothing too creative there. And if I just do that, this will actually run. We can see that it comes back as ASDF. Now if I do write, and you can see these are all a lot of the uh, functions that are available inside of MySQL. And then I can just do this and say comma one. And I run it there. Now you can see that the F is being returned. Clean that up a little bit. And I'm just going to change this to left. And you can see that the letter A is being returned. So the first one, I get the, the last character. And obviously the right side for one character. And then this is going to show me the first character. And if I change this to two, it's going to give me the left two character. So AS. So that, that's how that function works. Now, this can be very handy to use. So if we uh, do, a, do a select star from employees. Let's go ahead and run that. We can see we have first name, last name, gender in there. But uh, let's say we had a report where we want to show uh, somebody's initials on there. We could change this to be just do first name. And we're going to combine a couple things here. If I just did left. Oh, you can see that MySQL Workbench is giving me a little squiggly there, showing that I have a syntax here. I forgot to put in the one. And we'll add in a semicolon to terminate that statement. And let's run it. And now we have the initials, but they're not together. Now if I do concat, remember the concatenation function, bring together two strings. And we'll go ahead and run this now. Oh. Ran into an error. I'm not seeing that error. Concatenation initials. Oh, there's my mistake. I need to have a left there. So I accidentally typed over that. So you can see the mistake I made there. Uh, ran into a syntax error. I think I'm going to throw you guys an assignment of correcting some syntax errors so you can uh, see this. So that running into syntax error is very easy to do when you're running through stuff like this. So now we can see that I do get my initials column made up the uh, first character of the first name and the first character of the last name. And just to recap what I'm doing there, I'm doing the concat function. And I'm going to take the result of the left function to return back the first character of the first name. And then I'm also going to concatenate that with the, another left function going at the last name, the first character from the last name. And then I'm doing an alias to set it as initials. And I'm, I'm just doing a select from employees to return all data there.